Hey everybody, what's up? This is uh, November 2017. New content for Groove Freedom. My name is Derek, and this month Mike has two new grooves for us uh, for the 32nd note chapter, and he's continuing the theme from last month. So these are 32nd note grooves that do not have a spread of 32nd notes throughout the entire measure, but just little flurries of 32nd notes here and there. Uh, this time, instead of beats two and four, he's focused on beats one and three. And we've got two grooves for you, so I'm going to play through them and then explain a few bits after. A few bits. Maybe a few bits. Maybe. So just to touch on the first groove really quickly, this is essentially inverted double strokes between your hands. You just split between the hi-hat and the snare drum. So this is a great way to work on your rudiments while you're working on a groove behind the kit. I'd like to spend more time though with the second groove, and what I did with the second groove is I broke this down in a different way than last month. Uh, this month I took a tip from when I marched in drum and bugle corps. I used to play the, uh, the toms, the tenors in drum corps. And so whenever we couldn't play as a line, a, a pattern that was across the drums, they would always ultimately tell us to play it on a single drum, in, in that case, drum two. Uh, so that same approach can be used for practicing these types of 32nd note patterns that have a complicated uh, pattern with your hands and trying to fit in where that kick drum would go with that pattern. So you just play it on the snare drum and you can work on having a, a, a solid, and foundation, uh, a solid foundation, a solid, a consistent, a consistent sound across both of your hands on the snare drum while you figure out where that bass drum fits in with that. And once you get that feeling comfortable, then you can move the right hand to the hi-hat. And in fact, there's a third level of difficulty with this groove where there's an open hi-hat at the end of beats one and three on the of beats one and three. So if that's, again, too challenging for you, simplify. Simplify it until you can play it and then add that in later. So start on the snare drum, just play it on the snare drum with the kick, move the right hand up to the hi-hat, hi-hat and snare drum without adding the open hi-hat in, and then once you feel comfortable with that, then you can add the open hi-hat in there. And this way here you can gradually build up your comfort level with each of these types of approaches to playing the groove. This is a little bit different than what I suggested last month, but both approaches I think are effective and can help you get these down. Hope you found something useful out of this, and we will be back next month, December, with some more great new content for Groove Freedom. Thank you.